Good morning, folks. It's show day, and I'm in Maryland. We've got the Culture War show with Tim Poole and Jimmy Corsetti. You have a link below to where you can find today's show. But we also have two earthquake stories, one on the moon, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Still have lots of sunspots and plasma filaments, and while the Earth still steers clear of the line of fire, the eruptive activity has begun to return. Plasma filament on the north incoming ripped away, and there's a massive plasma tornado on the north as well. You'll see those two here. The filament releases, and then at the North Pole, we see a vertical filament extend upward before bobbing back a bit. We are monitoring eruptive activity today. Top quake of the last day was a 6.4 near Tonga. Luckily, it was very deep at 200 kilometers down, which always diminishes the surface shaking felt up top. Hopefully, those were not foreshocks. Let's go to the moon up next where they continue to be surprised by the space dust they find. They're beginning to investigate why some of the lunar dust has magnetic anomalies. Veteran observers, let's see what you know in the comments section with where you think those magnetic anomalies come from. I'm betting the same word shows up about 500 times in the comments today. Top story today is that the USGS has refined their United States earthquake map. Some of the places seem obvious in terms of their risk. Others, like those in Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana, may not have been on your radar. It's also notable how much of the Ozarks are actually in the high-risk area of the New Madrid Fault. And yes, during the peak of this ongoing geomagnetic excursion, we expect most of these high-risk areas to be taking that shaking. Folks, this morning, Jimmy and I are going on the culture war with Tim Poole. I don't often ask for favors, but if we can make this a big one, I'd really appreciate it. Tim is giving us a platform to get the Earth Disaster Cycle out there for new viewers. And below the video, you have a link to the Tenant Media page. In the menu bar, you will find the Live button. It will stream live there and then be added to the live page as a finished video. It begins at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. The actual link for the show won't go live until a few minutes before the stream. I'll try to post that on Twitter as well when it becomes available. Hopefully the world wakes up just a little bit more today and that you tune in to the show. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. on the East Coast, eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.